Hi everyone and welcome to my channel called Susanna Reacts where I learn all about India with your help and I just share my Slovak European point of view and in today's video I wanted to continue to explore the space and as I've been made aware of this Chand Chandrayaan mission so I just wanted to share this video today with you guys and see what new I can learn about this and i hope you can share maybe more information so i learn more with your help as always so without further ado let's dive in sorry my screens are like not positioned in the best way right let's dive into it hello and welcome to gravitas plus i am molly come india is once again gearing up to make history Chandrayaan-3 is all set for launch. It has reached the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota for its launch in July. All eyes are on the lunar spacecraft. The mood is both upbeat and apprehensive. Okay. Upbeat because ISRO scientists are confident that this mission will be a success. Okay. And apprehensive because the memories of Chandrayaan-2 are still fresh. You know, Chandrayaan-3's predecessor fell short of expectations. It was September 6th in the year 2019. Chandrayaan-2 was in the last leg of an otherwise successful mission, but the vessel carrying a lot of hope and precious equipment to study the moon's surface stopped responding. It was a grim day for Indians around the world. Contact with the Vikram lander was lost. The ISRO chief broke down. You might have already seen the videos. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was seen consoling him. Oh, bless his soul. It makes me cry. Bless him. Like, he's worked so hard. So what? Like, you live, you learn, right? Like, you know, the one more failure brings you to another success. Oh, I feel so bad for the poor man. He, he's like so, 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 like, so smart. Bless his soul. 20 days later, Chandrayaan 2's remains were found scattered on the lunar surface. But what happened, happened. India did not lose hope. And four years on, ISRO scientists are back with Chandrayaan-3. It's all set to launch in about a month. And what is its objective? Primarily to carry out a soft landing on the moon. Only the US, China and the Soviet Union have achieved this feat so far. Private firms have also tried. In 2019, an Israeli spacecraft crashed into the moon moments before its scheduled touchdown. Oh. More recently, on the 25th of April, 2023, the Hakuto lander built by a Japanese space technology firm also failed. If Chandrayaan-3 lands safely on the moon, India will join the success club. And what happens after the landing? The spacecraft will be carrying a lander and a rover. It will deploy them near the south pole of the moon. What for? to explore the lunar surface and carry out scientific experiments. And how much is all of this going to cost? Reports say roughly 600 crore rupees. That's close to $73 okay. million. Dollars. ISRO, you see, is known for its cost-effective and low-budget space missions. That's you remember, Mang That's very admirable. Mangalyan, India's Mars Orbiter, which was launched in 2013, it was a massive success. It was merely a technology demonstrator. It was designed for a lifespan of six months. And yet, it lived for about eight years in the Martian orbit. Eight long years. And how much did it cost? 470 crore rupees. That's wow. roughly 57 wow. million dollars. So impressive. And guess what? It was cheaper than the Hollywood space movie Gravity released the same oh, year. I, oh, the film had a budget of $100 million, almost double the cost of Mangalyan. Hollywood it's just so interesting how we, I mean, I guess you need to you need to invest money in all different things in the world. It cannot just all be research and development. But man, like, if only we invested more money in research and development, right? What sci-fi hit Interstellar cost about $165 million. Bad. Meanwhile, Chandrayaan 2 was worth 800 crore rupees or $97 million. 
can you believe this? <laughs> ISRO can put full-blown satellites into the space with less money involved than Hollywood films. Is it, is it because, um, so, is it because of that, like, Modi is talking to, to Elon Musk because he's been trying to do this expedition also at the very kind of uh, on a budget, very, 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 very much cheaper than, let's say, NASA is doing? The space agency has come a long way. Oh. There was a time when ISRO did not have mainframe computers. The picture on your screen oh. is from 1981. Space equipment oh. was hauled on bullock carts for testing. But as they say, perseverance takes you places. Scientists made spacecraft with limited infrastructure in industrial sheds. ISRO always came true. And today, it is helping other countries launch their satellites. It's amazing. Chandrayaan-3 can take India to new heights, but it's not the only Indian spacecraft venturing into space. Okay. Aditya L-1 also is set to take off in July. It will be India's okay. maiden space-based mission to study the sun. The spacecraft will make a journey of 1.5 million kilometers. It also has a nominal budget of 378 crore rupees. That's almost $46 million. And then we have the Gagan Yan. Okay, hang on. I just want to know, do you, do you guys happen to know why the sun? It's actually very interesting. Why, why did they decide to go for the sun? The mission is still in the making, but significant developments are going to take place this year. Experts suggest it could take flight by the year end. Wow. And this mission takes things a step further. It aims to launch Indian astronauts into space. Cool. The Indian Air Force is the primary option for crew selection. Several candidates are already undergoing training to become astronauts. Yeah. ISRO is working full throttle on this complex mission. 2023 looks well-rounded for ISRO. Mm. It has Chandrayaan-3 for the moon, Aditya L1 for the sun, and Gaganyaan for Indian crew in space. Not to forget, ISRO has made several successful space launches wow. this year already. The most promising one was that of LVM-3 in March. ISRO's heaviest payload rocket took off with 36 OneWeb satellites on board, weighing 5,800 kilograms. Okay. The satellites were stationed in the low Earth orbit. This was the second batch of satellites in association with the UK's Network Access Associates Limited. I actually read about this one. Yeah. So how do you feel that this is actually done with the Brits? It's just, uh, let's put a little twist on this. I'm, I'm very curious. The first one was launched back in October 2022. Okay. There is a lot of excitement around Chandrayaan 3. The first Chandrayaan was a success. The second one had its shortcomings. And now all hope rides on the third one. Mm. Will India make history? ISRO scientists are quite optimistic and the countdown begins now. Wow. I mean, I hope India does make history. And do you happen to know if this uh, if the Chandrayaan team is led by the same guy? I, I, I would so wish to see him being happy. It must be so much effort and, oh, my God, dedication. Like, these people are so smart. It still breaks my heart when I saw him crying because the the, the effort and, uh, yeah, he must have put into that must have been heroic. Um, wow, this, this is all very impressive. I actually had no idea of any of that. I've kind of read a bit about, like, your cooperation with uh, with the UK on the satellites as well. And this is why I, I was asking about, you know, what do you think when you cooperate with the Brits on stuff like that? But I was also on, trying to understand what what's the driver behind India. And I found a very interesting article about this one, uh, which... Um, uh, which which was talking about you know helping with infrastructure agriculture uh, etc very interesting so uh, and obviously a lot of people are right now trying to place the satellites in the space so it's kind of like no war for no war for space I guess um, but yeah I mean I I really enjoyed uh, learning about this I hope you enjoyed this uh, watching with me if you did please give it a thumbs up share subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care, much love, and bye-bye.